Hello, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this episode of NAF and Gaming Updates. Where we talk about what's going on in Japanese mixed martial arts. Today, we'll be talking about Deep 85 Impact, which has happened over this past weekend. In the first bout, we have Taichi Isogai, who defeated Hiroyuki Sugiura. First round, 1 minute 20 seconds by a really good choke. In the next bout, we have Ryuji Takashiro, who defeated Yusuke Matsubaya by United Decision. In the next bout, we have Kosuke Terashima versus Rikuto Shirakawa, which ends in a majority draw. In the next bout, we have Noboru Kawahara versus Yutaro Muramoto, which ends in a majority draw. Next, we have Koji Takara, who defeats Yuri Ohara by unanimous decision. In the next bout, we have Daiki Hata, who defeats Kyusuke Yokohama by unanimous decision. Next, we have Si Wu Park, who defeats Imi Toematsu by unanimous decision. Next, we have Alyssa Garcia, who defeats Satomi Takano, 2 minutes 5 seconds of the second round by TKO. In the co-main event, we have Makoto Kamiya, who defeats Kaito Sakamaki by unanimous decision. In the main event, we have Victor Henry, who defeated Takahumi Atsuka, 1 minute 34 seconds in the third round by TKO with a kick to the body. And guys, that is it for Deep 85 Impact. I just want to say congratulations. So awesome to Alyssa Garcia and Victor Henry for both of them defeating their opponents by TKO. Uh, man, that's so awesome. Very proud of Victor. I will be sure to get an interview from these two when they come from the Japan guys. You know, please, if you guys have a chance, you know, uh, find them on Twitter or Instagram and tell them please some congratulations because they're doing both a great job. Yay! And now time for some depressing news guys. Um, former Shuto Champion and K1 Heroes Champion Norifumi Kiyamot has been diagnosed with cancer. Um, little is known of you know, how far what stage he's on, on the cancer guys and what kind of treatment he's taking for the cancer. But uh, if anyone knows like his Twitter or his, 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 uh, his Instagram um, a handle, please, you know, you know, to tweet to him or Instagram, line him and just please wish him um, to get better and wish him good luck, guys, you know. Um, then this guy is a Jamie Hero guy, he's a legend. You know, I've been watching this guy since I was a kid, you know, he, he beat a lot of good guys. Beat, uh, Josh Thompson, Genki Sudo, um, a lot of guys, you know. He comes from a very um, strong family, you know, athletic family, like, like his dad took second or two in the Olympics and his sisters I think uh, Miyu Yamamoto and uh, Sigi Yamamoto are both uh, world champions in freestyle wrestling so you know, kid also for himself he's a Shuto and K1 Heroes champion guy at one time I would say he was considered the best in the world you know so um, it's very sad news to hear that he's been diagnosed with cancer so um, you know, if you guys can I, I definitely will you know um, it's a sense of good, good positive vibe, and every time I'm in Japan, you know, I see my, I always see my, the, uh, the pancreas events or the shoot events. You know, a kid, you know, kid in Japan is a superstar. You know, I'm a nobody, and even then, you know, he, I think he knows me from, you know, when I fought in pancreas or when I fought in the UFC. And he comes up to me, and says hi, and you know, we chat for a little bit. You know, he's always cool, and <laughs> um, but yeah, he's a great guy, guys. Very down to earth. You know, I'm, I'm gonna send some good vibes, and I hope him the best. Thank you very much everyone for watching this episode of the NAF and Jamie Update. See you guys later. Fire night. Hey.